All right guys, oil change time. So we've ran this motor for one practice session and one race day. So we've probably been out on the track about eight times since the last time we've changed our oil. I mentioned in other videos, I like to change my oil after every practice day, race day. Might be a little more than I need to, but I just like to keep my motor in the best shape possible. So what I did is I actually put this uh, go-kart out at the bottom of my driveway, let it idle for about 10 minutes, and let's see what temperature it's at. Looks like it's at about 100 degrees. So I just warmed that up real quick just to kind of get the oil to flow out of here a little easier. So one thing, the first thing I'll do is I'll remove my oil fill cap. Just like so. And then what I'll do is I've got one of these little ratio right measuring cups and I'll just hold that under here underneath the chassis. I like to catch the oil just so I can take a look at it after we've drained it so I can see if there's ex excessive metal shavings or anything in there that uh, may indicate another problem. So here's our drain bolt right here. There's one on the front and the back. I've always used the one on the front. It's just a little easier to get to. So let's go ahead and loosen that up. And you just use a 10 mil wrench to loosen this guy up. And once you get it fairly loose, you can probably just come in here and finish it off by hand. And we'll just let our oil drain out. And once it gets to a point where it's just a trickle, I'll go ahead and I'll set my cup down here on the ground just so I don't have to hold it. You may make a little bit of mess with this, but no big deal. You can just clean it up when you're done. All right, looks like the majority of it's ran out. So once, once it starts just dripping, I'll kind of just lift the back of the go-kart up a little bit. Give it a little shake, make sure I get everything out of there. Just like that. And one thing I'll mention is they don't come with these, but this is actually a magnetic drain plug. And you'll see some, some junk kind of stuck to it there. Let's wipe it off so you can kind of see. And this will kind of catch a lot of those metal shavings I just mentioned that I like to check my oil for. It gets kind of dirty. So you'll just want to make sure you clean that off. Okay. Looks like most of our oil has dripped out. So I'll probably just leave it here. No reason to just stare at this. I'll just kind of leave it here just to make sure everything uh, gets drained out of it. I'll readjust the camera so we can take a look at the oil that I just poured out of here, as well as I'll show you how to add the oil once we're done. Okay guys, quick look at the oil that I pulled out of this motor. It's obviously not hard to tell which one's which. This is our brand new oil that we're gonna be putting into our go-kart. And over here we have the oil I took out. And like I said, that's, that's what the oil looks like. And that's just after one practice day and one race day. And what I like to do is I just like to get a flashlight and look at the oil. And you'll see, hopefully you can see it, but you'll see some, some little specks in there glistening in the light from the flashlight. And you'll, you'll always see that. I've, I've never changed my oil and not seen that but you just want to make sure that there's just not an excessive amount of those little fine metal shavings in your oil. It also makes it real nice when you have that magnetic drain plug as well. You can kind of see how much is collecting on that drain plug. But yeah, there's a look at our used oil versus our new oil. And as you can see, there's a big difference, which is why I like to change my oil as much as I do. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll uh, take this new oil over to the go-kart and let's get her filled up. All right, so we've let all our oil drain out. Let's go ahead and just give this a little wipe down. 
I've also cleaned up my drain plug real good. So we can go ahead and reinstall our drain plug. And you're gonna wanna make sure this is tight, but you do not wanna over tighten it. These are the last threads that, that you're gonna wanna strip. So once we get that in there, we'll just tighten it up. And once it stops, you'll just wanna make sure it's snug, but just do not over tighten this bolt. And I, I'm not tanking down on that hard at all. Um, I'm just giving it a little snug just to make sure that that's not gonna back out on us. So from here, what I like to do is I'll just grab a, a normal funnel. Make sure your funnel is nice and clean. You're not gonna wanna put any contaminants into your motor. Once you've got a clean funnel, what I'll do is I'll just set my funnel right in here. And then I've got my, my ratio right, that I've got my 13 ounces of uh, Briggs AMS oil, four cycle oil. And then I'm just gonna, let's see how I can do this so you guys can see it. I'm just gonna slowly trickle this in. And uh, fill our motor. I think Briggs recommends 14 ounces. I've just always done 13 and I think I probably originally started doing 13 just to save, save money on oil when we first started doing this, but I've, I've always ran 13 and I've never had any issues. Fill plug back on. These are aftermarket fill plugs. I got them on there just because just they look good. They match the other red aluminum parts on our go-kart. Just give that a little snug. And that's it. Simple oil change. It's gonna definitely increase the life of your motor. Obviously, the more you change your oil. I've mentioned before, we do ours after every practice, every race. You probably don't necessarily need to do it that much, but I, I wouldn't go more than two practices and two races without changing your oil. So th these motors will definitely last you a long time as long as you're taking care of them. So definitely develop yourself a maintenance plan, decide what schedule that you're gonna change your oil, and have a good time at the track.